Hi and Assalamu alaikum, Dodo Tarasti. My name is Nurul Gatna Nanyu Binti Arifin. I am from AS2293A and my metric number is 2021 I will present the research project with the title of Agriculture Activities and Emissions. Here is our poster. And I will continue to the first part which is Introduction. Now, I will start the introduction of this poster. This topic concerns the potential impacts of those emission and livestock and human health. So what is agricultural activity? Agricultural activity means a condition or activity which occurs on a farm in connection with the commercial product of a farm products and inputs, but it's not a limited activity. For example, um, this activity produces noise, odors, fumes, dust, and many more. It also emits some gases and particles to the atmosphere. Agriculture activity is the second largest uh, of greenhouse gas emission and will continue growing into a bigger activities. Next, I will continue to the sources of emission. There are three sources that I will state at the which is livestock animal excrement and also fertilizer. The first sources is from livestock. What is livestock? Livestock refers to animal raised uh, primarily for the production of the commodities such as meat, milk, eggs, leather and wools. So livestock mainly consists of methane and ammonia. So from here it shows that livestock produce some emission to the air. Next, for the second source is the source from animal excrement. Animal excrement means the waste matter that is charged from the body of the animal. Agricultural activity which includes farming will contribute to the source of emission due to animal excrement. For example, uh, from cow, goat, buffalo or even from chicken. And the last source is from nitrogenous fertilizer and fertilized crop. In agriculture activity, some entities such as farming need fertilizer to fertilize the plant to fertilize the plant become healthy. In this case, the fertilizer will emit some gases to the atmosphere, which is ammonia and H3 emission from the volatilization of the ammonia. This happened due to ammonia contained in the fertilizer itself. So that's all for the three sources of emission from agriculture activities. Hi, my name is Nurmai Sarah Binti Mumazul Kitli. So I'm going to proceed with the gas emissions that come from agricultural activities. So firstly is greenhouse gases. Secondly is nitrogen gases and thirdly is ammonia emission. Firstly is greenhouse gases. So what are greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gases are gases in earth atmosphere that trap heat. So they let sunlight pass through the atmosphere but they prevent the heat that the sunlight brings from leaving the atmosphere. So the main greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, nitrous oxide and also chlorofluorocarbons. So, agriculture produces carbon dioxide, methane and also nitrous oxide. But the largest contributions of greenhouse gases come from methane and nitrous oxide. Carbon dioxide on farm comes from burning fossil fuels to heat homes and run from machinery. Decomposition of organic matter from intensive tillage operations and summer flow and also crop residue burning. Methane on farm comes from the digestive process of ruminant livestock such as cattle, sheep, and goat herbs. Also, it comes from an aerobic decomposition of organic matter in wet soils, wetlands, and also manual storages. For nitrous oxide on farm, it comes from nitrification in soil, which is when ammonium is converted to nitrate in soil. Also, 
It comes from denitrification in soil, which is anaerobic respiration in soil due to wet soil conditions or high microbial activity where both carbon and nitrate are present and also in the menu storage. Nitrogen-based fertilizers and livestock manure such as urine and dung are the key sources of nitrous oxide emissions on farms. The greater efficiency in the capture of nitrogen in products has the greatest impact on reducing nitrous oxide losses as well as reducing ammonia volatilization to the atmosphere and nitrate leaching and runoff to groundwater and waterways. So, nitrous oxide is most likely released from warm, waterlogged soils where there is excess nitrogen in the form of nitrate. And also, volatilization of nitrogen as ammonia can also lead to indirect nitrous oxide emissions through redeposition, contributing to excess nitrate elsewhere in the landscape. For ammonia, it is generated because of nitrogen in the faces and urine of pigs and cattle and the uric acid of poultry manure. Ammonia forms from the biological and chemical breakdown of manure protein, uric acid and urea during manure storage and also decomposition. Hi, my name is Nuhatika. I am in charge to talk about the recommendation of how we can reduce emission from uh, agricultural culture. Uh, so, um, we have uh, livestock and manure management, uh, soil conservation and carbon sequestration, and energy conservation and fuel switching. The first recommendation is from livestock and manure management. We can use livestock feed additive. So, what are livestock feed additives? Livestock feed additives are products used in animal nutrition to achieve an effect on the feed itself, on animal, on food products obtained from the animal consuming the feed additive or on the environment. For example, feed additives can reduce methane emission. Uh, livestock produce significant amounts of methane as part of their normal digestive, digestive process. Some feed additives can inhibit the microorganisms that produce methane in the rumen and subsequently reduce methane emission. Uh, next, manure management is how manure is captured, stored, treated, and used. It has important implications for farm productivity and the environment. When applied according to the agronomic needs of crops, Manure can improve uh, productivity by reducing the need for commercial fertilizer. Second recommendation is soil conservation and carbon sequestration. We can conserve the soil by reducing tillage. Tillage reduction is really good because it can enhance soil aggregation, promote biological activity, and increase water holding capacity and infiltration rates. While carbon sequestration is capturing, removal and storage of carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere. So, this method can improve soil health by helping to restore degraded soils which can improve uh, agricultural productivity. Um, carbon sequestration also increase climate uh, resilience uh, that makes healthier soil uh, make farms more resilient against uh, both drought and he heavy rainfalls. Uh, last recommendation for me is energy conservation and fuel switching. Uh, grain producing farms can reduce energy consumption and lower their cost by improving their grain uh, drying system. Other farming practice, uh, such as grazing livestock, cycling nutrients through manure and cover crops, and rotating crops to control pests can also reduce energy use. Besides, 
Uh, some reports found that in manufacturing energy efficiency could enhance co uh, competi competitiveness, improve uh, profitability, uh, productivity, and product quality. Energy efficiency can also improve safety of the work environment, reduce maintenance and raw material costs as well as cost of environment compliance. Uh, next, Fuel switching can replace uh, inefficient fuels with cleaner and economical alternatives, such as uh, step, uh, substituting coal or kerosene for natural gas. Complemented by modern equipment upgrades, fuel switching is a simple approach to reducing energy consumption and cost for end users. While also, while also curbing uh, carbon emission. Agriculture is the act and sign of cultivating the soil, growing crops, and raising livestock. It includes the preparation of plant and animal products for people to use and their distribution to markets. Agriculture provides most of the world's food and fabrics. Because of that, we need to appreciate the agricultural world and make sure that agriculture is free from pollution. In a conclusion, agriculture is currently responsible for more than half of the atmosphere increase.